Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. Hello. We are here to answer your questions. Yay! Super excited to do it. Yes, we are. Clint? Sarah. You're looking a little hip-hop today. Hip-hop? Yeah, you look pretty cool. I'll let that happen if it's going to happen. I may have listened to Ice Cube this morning. (laughs) If I'm listening to hip hop, it's gonna be some ice cube. Anyway, he doesn't do that. I bet he does. I'm wearing a Disney shirt in case nobody recognized it because we're based out of Orlando, Florida. Did you know that? In case you didn't, now you know. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And uh, parks are a huge part of our culture here in Central Florida. A Mm -hmm. huge part of our culture. Yep. Do you go to Disney? I do from time to time. Yeah. My children. So, yeah. Not as much as I'd like to. Mm-hmm. I actually didn't get to go a lot as a child either. Didn't have much of a childhood like that, but I went a couple times. Yeah. I always remember like Space Mountain. Yeah. Or just the feeling of when you go. That's that's key when you live in Florida not to go to these places too much. Because <laughs> then they lose their magic. What's your favorite ride at Disney? Favorite ride at Disney ever? You like, one ride. You can only go on one ride. You can go right now. What's it going to be? I don't even know if it's still there anymore, but I used to love Space Mountain. That was my favorite ride. There. It's Is still it? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be it. And then, like, the big, like, what do you get, like a turkey leg or something when you're there, too? Like, that's must have food. Oh, oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah you get one snack and one ride. What's yeah. your two? Space Mountain and some giant dead animal leg. Uh, ride, if I had to choose one, Rock and Roller Coaster. Mmm. Love it. I love it. Yes. Mm-hmm. I do love Everest, but I think I have to go with Rock and Roller Coaster. Okay. Uh, park, Magic Kingdom, it's just, it's, it's magical, it's a magical place, and I've been on a lot of dates there with my husband, and it's just, you know, can't beat it. Um, and then what was my third, oh, snack? Yeah. It's between the Dole Whip or the Mickey Mouse bar. Yeah, I was just thinking that, mmm. I think I'm gonna go with the Mickey Mouse bar. Speaking of vacations. Yeah. Are you going anywhere on a trip sometime soon, like next week? You know what we are? Where are we going? So next week. That's deceiving because you're not going. I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, next week in Indianapolis, Indiana, they have uh, the NRA annual meeting 2019. So booth 4,801. If you want to come check us out, as you can see we're having some fun building some stuff for the uh, booth curb appeal. Bring people in. Booth curb appeal. Show all our stuff. Show all our barrels. Oh, Talk to the people. It's a great show. What might help with your booth curb appeal, since I'm not going to be there, is to do a cardboard cutout of me. Okay. And that'll draw the people in. Yeah. Can, I can be like... Can you make that? Since we're leaving next week, I don't know if you have time. You know, one of those. Oh, we'll make time. We'll make time. We'll rush deliver it, even if it's like $500 or something. Right, Jason? Wait. That's worth blowing our marketing Let's budget for, for sure. Yeah, I'm a little sad. I can't be there. I can't come. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Maybe some people They're caring right now. If you're really upset and you start to cry, like definitely come to the booth and show Jason and, and mm-hmm. Clint that you're crying and you're upset and tell them that you're crying and you're upset because uh, I want to hear about it. But yeah. yeah. They're going to walk in and be like, dang it, Sarah's <laughs> not here. And I just threw my Andrew hat. Oh, They're no. They're in Florida too. Yeah, yeah. Local business. Check them out. They make a lot of cool stuff. Definitely. Clint, are you ready for questions? Yes, I am. Super. Let's go. All right. It's time. It's time for a question from our friend, Christian Grest. This is a cool name you have, Christian. Yeah. Okay. Christian says, great video as always. Oh, thank you. Uh, Thanks for answering our questions. uh, Question for Clint. Do you have a preferred barrel profile when running suppressed? Less than 12 and a half and greater than 12 and a half. Yeah, I think I do. Um, I, I think in terms of a setup when you're shooting suppressed short or longer barrel, if you have a choice to, of what to do, like we do here, especially demoing rifles, so I like to give a pretty good opinion on how they're going to work out. But there's also a, a form and function for each. Do I want to have a short barrel, uh, SBR, or pistol setup with a suppressor? Yeah, so I'll still do a short barrel, you know, maybe a 10-3, and I could do a, I could do a pencil version of it because I have my, I have less barrel length. Okay, so the thing when you're thinking about, or the thing to think about when you're shooting suppressed is you're going to have that added weight at the end. Two ways to look at it. Does that increase the overall weight of my entire rig? Or is that adding weight out at the end of you know, a longer barrel that may be thin, and do I want to do that? Now, this is all just advice, and I'm always gonna tell you the most practical 
route to go usually, but you can do any of them. I do. I do 11.3 pencil barrel suppressed all the time. I've done 16 inch pencil barrel suppressed. It definitely happens. However, if I'm gonna run it hard, if it's gonna be the truck gun or if it's gonna be, you know, that, that, that battle rifle and I'm going short, say 12.5 or 11.3 or even 10.5, Naturally, just like with the longer barrel, I'm going to choose possibly first a, a 750 profile, something a little beefier, not quite pencil. That being said, you can absolutely achieve a lighter package and do a pencil barrel on a short one or a long one. I think on the longer barrel though, like I said, in terms of running it hard, getting that heat set up, you have a, a thinner profile, a longer barrel, and then weight out even further out of your, of your rifle. Okay, so as it gets hot, that could change your accuracy a touch. Keep those things in mind. And that's how you can look at it. You know, you're not, especially with our lineup, you're not going to have a bad choice with any of them. So that's kind of the rule of thumb. I know it went all over the place there, but I just don't want you to think I'm guiding you down one main path. But you got to keep all those things in mind. So. Okay. Awesome. Our second question is from our friend Rich Ray. Already? So cool. That's the coolest name ever. Okay. What about using a flash can or blast diffuser slash linear comp on pistols? Do you still recommend a flash hider? Okay, again, similar to the first one, I think I say s certain things in terms of my answer for stuff is lighting you, leading you down the practical path, okay? So, yeah, I still am gonna say a flash hider if you're trying to hide the flash in terms of if it were me. However, sometimes you, you wanna use a muzzle brake on something shorter like that, okay? And there are linear comps. There are VG6 muzzle, muzzle devices that you can buy from Ballistic Advantage. The VG6 cage is another similar type of uh, adaptation to the muzzle device that's going to do something along the same lines of everything you listed. So there's no rules. Depending on what, how you want that thing to function, if you're okay with the, the higher pitch or if you want to tame that down a little bit with the cage in terms of uh, controlling the, the two baffles, that it's, pretty, uh, it's a pretty high pitch in terms of muzzle brake. But it's just comfort for the shooter. That's just me personally. I've shot enough of them to where when I'm shooting something shorter than 11.3, 11, you get down to 10.3, it's awfully close. I typically don't use a muzzle brake and I'll use a flash hider of some sort. That doesn't mean I don't build those or don't shoot those and have a lot of fun with them. You can absolutely do it. So there's no right or wrong. So anything you choose should be perfectly fine. We take that into account when we manufacture barrels that we don't know what you're gonna put on it, but there's a ton of good options throughout the industry and right here at Ballistic Advantage. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Such a good job, Mr. Hansen. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you so much to our friends for your wonderful questions. We really appreciated them. Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Thank you so much, Jason Demo. Good job as always. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. We post new videos every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. And if you wanna see this guy or Jason Demo answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. Guys, we sure can't wait to see what you send us. Our second question is from our friend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Clint. <laughs> Quint. <laughs> I, I almost called you question. question. That, that could be like his uh, Harry Potter name. Quint. Quint. Quint.